does it mean that your team's able to bounce back? Well, I really like their energy in games one and two and late in game four. And you know, I thought Nevada did a really good job in game three of coming out. And, and they, they were serving pillows. And caught us off guard a little bit in game four. We got back on our game. But our passing dropped off to happen too. But I really like our energy in one and two. But the things that happened to us in three really were Nevada raising their game and, and, and their serving. Their serving was really good. Really. Coach, something you said that you've been working on and hasn't happened until tonight. You guys, your errors were uh, down a ton. What, how, what was different in this one? Well, I think we played with a little less stress. I think, you know, it's, it's kind of like San Diego State has been a nemesis for us. And, you know, I don't know why. It shouldn't be. I, I think we're a better team than we sure didn't play like that. But that whole match, I said, you know, that the whole match was bad. Neither team had good numbers. And that shouldn't happen to us at home. But I, I am glad we bounced back. Nevada beat Air Force on Thursday night. And they're much improved. Their new coach is doing a great job. And I think it's a good win for us. I really, I think, I think this year the conference has more balance. And I've been saying that. It's, the bottom is coming up and the top is more even. And I think that... It's anybody's game. If you don't show up ready to play, you're going to be in trouble. And, also. and that happened to us on Thursday night. Today we showed up ready and really took care of business, and I thought we had a really nice way. Number eight for Nevada seemed to uh, have uh, quite a few amount of kills. What was going so well for her, and how are you guys coming together? Um, well, they run, run fast, and she was getting high touches and stuff, but when we started commit blocking on her, we, we slowed her down a lot more. And, you know, we did out-block them, but um, we were also going after and serving, particularly in zone one, because, you know, where she helped them at the net, we, we felt like she, she would hurt them in the backcourt, and, and we felt like she did. She gave us some real good looks at, at blocking just because uh, we weren't acing her, but, but she was passing off the net, and, and then they were forced to go outside, and, and then Cassie could commit block. So, you know, what she did in the front row was good. She's a good player. Uh, I think her name's Willie. But I, I, I felt like in the back row we did a good job doing that. You have to switch libero jerseys again in this one. What's, uh, how is, that, is that frustrating for you? What's all going through your mind? Um, it, 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 it's frustrating because, uh, you know, like Stephanie, Stephanie's good energy in there. She started the match well. She passed a 2.4 in game one and came back in game two and passed a point six. And we, we can't do that. And, um, defensively, she was really getting it done for us, and I was really happy with that. But, um, you know, we got to step up the passing and take care of it. And she knows, and she knows what she needs to work on. And Mercedes went back, went in, and um, solidified things a little bit. And, and we were able to get the win in game four, and she came up with a couple of big digs. But, you know, I we can't keep playing musical chairs with that position. It's, it's really... Uh, I think it's frustrating for the coaches, but I think it's more frustrating for the players not not knowing who's going to just grab the position and own it and really take care of it.